Hi everyone, I was just tidying up outside the front door here where we have all those lovely pots and I found that one of my hookahs had literally come loose and I've had this before and it was due to vine weevils and sure enough I've got vine weevils in this pot and they're eating the roots of the hookah and I want to show you what they look like in case you don't know and um, the only solution that I know apart from squashing them with your fingers which I will do and have been doing um, I think you can get some nematodes of some description to deal with those so I will be online later on today I'm looking for the nematodes that eat the vine weevils but let me show you the vine weevils in case you don't know what they look like white little squishy monsters and they devour the roots of plants so i was just trimming back um you know winter growth and literally the whole hookah came up and i can see from the root ball that something's been eating it and as i said i've had this before so what you can do is just dig around in the hole and lo and behold there are vine weevils in there can you see it's like a little white, tiny white sort of centipede thing? And you can literally squash them to kill them and they'll spurt everywhere. But um, I don't think you'll ever get rid of all of them. I found a few in here. And so I thought I'd just stop so that I could show you in case you've never come across it before. I won't trust this plant pot anymore now. And I mean, you could just dig it all out and put new compost in there or you can get the nematodes, which is what I'm going to do. But you know, I worry about all the other plants that I've got in here now. So I do find that hookahs are very susceptible to vine weevils. Um, so do watch out for that. Just check on all your hookahs in pots. I'm talking about in pots. I'm not sure whether they bother plants in the bed so much, but uh, pots just seem to attract vine weevils. I don't know why, there's probably some scientific reason. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get some nematodes and I'll show you what I do. Wish me luck with the rest of my pots. So the nematodes have arrived. You keep them in the fridge until you're ready to use them. They have a use by date on them, so do pay attention to that. So this, um, I think there's like 50 million in here or something. Yes, it says there are 50 million. Anyway, they come in a little packet like this and it treats up to 100 square meters. I don't think I've got that many pots, but I've definitely got pots in the nursery I can use this on. But if you slide the packet out, of the cardboard sleeve, it's got a use by date on them. So make sure that when they arrive, you pay attention to that use by date because I'm guessing that they don't survive longer than that. And you can see um, on there, not only is it used by date, but it says there are 50 million in here. It's a tiny little thing. It's kind of like in sand or something. It's not sand, it's very fine powdery stuff. Um, anyway, I'm going to go over the instructions and then I will show you how we apply this. It's really simple, um, so don't be worried about that. And it's not gross or anything like that. It's just like a powdery solution that you water down. So it says to dissolve the entire contents of this packet, all of this, into a bucket with 10 litres of water in it. So we're going to use a big garden truck. So nematodes are naturally occurring microscopic worms and they're already present in the soil. Um, and then it says to stir it vigorously and immediately take out half a litre. So we use a measuring jug for that. Take out half a litre and pour that into a watering can and then add four and a half litres of water to that. So you will need a watering can that can take five litres, but I think most watering cans can. That's probably quite a small one. I think our watering can takes more, so we could probably use double. And it says to water the area um, with just water afterwards. So you apply it and then you water it, but it says with pots to make sure that water doesn't start, you don't add so much water afterwards that water starts running out because then you're wasting the nematodes. And basically these um, nematodes will just eat the vine weevils that are eating the roots of your plant. Um, and that's what we want. You can also use a hose applicator to apply the nematode solution if you want to. And there are instructions on how to do that in here, but we're gonna use the jug method. I find it is easier. And also I don't want to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> also that once you've diluted it you can't keep the stock solution that you make so you just got to use it all in one go or I guess put it down your drain but um, I would use it all in one go. So the instructions also say that for pots you have to measure 10% of your pot volume so you work out what your pot volume is and then only apply 10% of that to the pot. 
Um, that's probably more complicated than most people want to get. And I would say um, you can't add too many nematodes, but bear in mind, so this is, <laughs> this is how we're going to do it. Bear in mind that you want to apply the solution and then water with normal water from your garden hose, but you don't want any liquid to run out of the bottom of the pot because then you're wasting the nematodes. So you need to add the right amount. I mean, you can follow the instructions and measure your pots and then add the right solution, but we're not going to be doing that because we're lazy. <laughs> Follow the advice on the packet if you want to. I would advise you to follow the advice on the packet, but I'll show you what we're going to do and uh, see whether that will work for you. I found another port hook corona. It's another one of the topaz ones, and it's looking really sad. So I'm just going to have a little dig and see whether that one has also been eaten by the vine weevil larvae. So let's have a look and see whether I can show you. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. was wholly unsuccessful. I couldn't find any vine weevils to show you, but as you can see from the state of the root, it's definitely been eaten. The vine weevils have probably just had enough root and buried themselves deeper in the pot. So the nematodes are going to get them. Watch out, vine weevils. <laughs> it we've finished watering all our pots with the nematodes today we've finished the solution and I'm really pleased because it means that hopefully um, this is going to do the job and we won't have any more problems with nematodes this year I do find that we have to treat our pots um, every year I don't know whether that's something that everybody else experiences uh, let me know in the comments below if you have problems too but I do tend to find my poor hookahs are beheaded every year at least one of them is and then i know to get on it and order the nematodes i hope you found this video interesting and useful um, i'm always trying on this channel to show everybody that gardening needn't be scary and things sound really complicated you know when i first heard the word nematodes i was like oh, what are those but actually they're they're really simple to use and they're a natural product so i'm very happy to use them in my garden Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Forget about the glasses. Just put the glasses on. So there's another one. So that's a vine weevil. Oh no, it's not, it's grit. <laughs>